Hi there my van lifing friends. It's unboxing time again. Let's see what's in this. So, this is what I got in the package. It's a lithium battery from Liontron with a capacity of 150 amp hours. It will replace my existing AGM battery of 100 amp hours. So this 150 amp hours will equal to three of those 100 amp hour with the AGM configuration. My original battery was just toasted uh, a couple of weeks ago. The capacity was like only 25 to 50 percent of its uh, original capacity. So it was time for change, so I opted for the lithium battery. Uh, this battery is from Liontron in Germany and I'm not sponsored and this will be a, the common man installation of a lithium battery. I will go from the basics. I will just swap this in. It is a drop-in battery. I will say drop-in because it's a lot to, to consider before you do that. Uh, what type of charger you have and if you can configure it to work with this battery or not and if you have solar panels or how your alternator from your uh, vehicle uh, charge the battery so you you need to have a clue of all these things before you install the battery but i will start from the beginning and i will take you along this journey just drop it in configure the charger why I opted for this battery is for because it has a, a very nice uh, capacity of 150 amp hours. We also have the measures that I need because this van of this year have the battery compartment under this uh, sofa over here in the dinette. Normally you have the lesser battery uh, under this chair on the Koto ch chassis. And that could require other measures, of course. I know that the Liontron have, uh, for example, a 200 and the 150 amp hour battery that is fit exactly under the seat. There are other things that I like with this battery, and that is it's completely modular. So you can unbolt four bolts up here, and you can lift this lid. And then you have the control unit and the cells interchangeable. And Liontron has all the spare parts. So except from a long life since it is a uh, lithium battery. This is a picture of how it looks inside with its modular design. So this battery is not sealed. So this is serviceable for anyone. Or you can send it back to Liontron for service. In the package I got a quick installation guide which I'm reading right now and also on the web page at Liontron you can find it on this uh, QR code. This battery also have a, a uh, under and over voltage protection that is very important and also control unit uh, in here that you can see everything in an app. You can see your charging data or uh, your consumption and also your uh, capacity that you have uh, left in the battery and so on. I will also mention the weight saving of this battery. Uh, it's, this battery weights about 21 kilos. If I should drop in three 100 amp hour AGM batteries instead, which equals to this capacity, that would weigh about 90 kilos. So 21 kilos versus 90 kilos. That's a huge weight difference. For sure, there is many things to uh, consider when uh, drop in a battery like this. The original charger does not have the optimized charging profile for lithium battery but it could be set to the correct voltage according to the uh, the specified charging voltage of this battery 
so what could be need to be done is to bypass the 230 volt uh, charging from my EBL. I could also be needed to, to uh, install a DC DC charger or battery to battery charger uh, from the van because it's smart alternator. Some of these vans with different year model years already have a DC DC charger installed in the van and some have not. So you need to look at your uh, prerequisites pre before you install it. I do not have solar panels yet, I will say. Uh, I had it on my former RV and that's very good when you are off grid for a long time at the same place. It may not be necessary to have a solar panel if you have a DC DC charger. So to optimize this system could differ from your use and my use uh, how you want it or optimize it just to optimize it to the to the best standard and I will do that journey with this I will drop it in and I will look into this what I need or, or not need over time that's my experience from my for, former RV how I used that so certain needs for sure to have this great capacity that's a good start and then you need to configure your charging of this capacity to your needs. That's, uh, that's the point that I want to get to. But uh, we shouldn't just talk here. Let's install it. There we go. Uh, this 150 amp hour battery is fitted under the seat. It fits actually perfect in there. So it looks like it made for it. I just put together it as it was on the original battery with the ori original charger and I set it on the gel setting for the charge uh, profile and that profile is not really perfect on this uh, Electroblock uh, EBL 208S from Shout. So <clears throat> I will look further into that. It charge 17 amps for now. Uh, as you also can see, uh, the rated capacity is 150 amp hours, but the actual is 161. Uh, the profile has not uh, reached the, the full charging capacity yet. And that is one of the downsides with just keeping the original uh, charger. Because an optimized charger should charge with 14.4 volts uh, flat. I'm testing how the lithium battery are charged by the alternator. It started off with uh, 15 amps and then when I've been driving for a while it uh, charges with about 12 amps dips down to 10 amps if I go down to, to idle and uh, that's not really optimal I will drive some more for testing this how it works but it seems that uh, a uh, DC to DC charger or a battery to battery charger is the medicine for uh, for the next upgrade. All right, we are back home again. To summarize this, um, we could say. To drop in this battery, it seems to work uh, so far, and uh, the conclusion is that this 2018 uh, Adria Twin van is not optimized at all for this. I actually knew it, but uh, I need to try and see how it works. Uh, the thing is that the charging system is not efficient enough. Uh, to get the most out of this battery type 
a lithium battery could charge up very fast and it is a very good idea of course to to take advantage of that so next step would be to get me a dc dc charger and uh, not sure which one yet what i could see when i was driving was that uh, uh, like 15 minutes after i took off uh, it dropped from 15 uh, amps down to uh, below 10 about 7 amps in, in charging and and that is not efficient enough for me to to have this system running uh, optimal so i will start with that and i would be very happy if you would follow this journey in how in how I set up my, my van for a better off-grid uh, performance. I will not top it up as the top guys do to, uh, to stay out for, for weeks at the same spot. That is not what I'm uh, doing actually. I were moving around a lot. So I set it up to, to manage that at least. All right, so uh, I put it in again and it's uh, have went from uh, yeah from like 12 percent charging up to 28 percent right now i can see it in the app how it works uh, actually great so that was it for this session about this battery installment a very quick and easy fix uh, please comment below in how you set up your batteries and uh, if you have any tip or uh, anything else you want to share or your experience of a similar setup or if you are planning to do it what you plan to do or any questions around that okay stay tuned for the next one